We're gonna start talking about nuclear reactors, which is not our main experiment because we're not doing one, but yeah, start. Nuclear power generates through spinning turbines. Nuclear reaction is caused by water boiling and with steam generating the turbines to go round and round. Nuclear power plant reactors power outputs are quoted in three ways. Thermal MWT, which depends on the design of the actual nuclear reactor itself and relates to the quantity of the steam it produces. Second, gross, gross electrical NWE indicates the power produced by the attached steam turbine and generator and also takes into account the <laughs> temperature of the condenser circuit. Uh, rate gross power assumes certain conditions with both. Third, net electrical NWE, which is the power available to be sent out of the plant to the grid after deducting the electrical power needed to run reactor. Wow, <laughs> I was just going to show them the picture. Okay, well, you'll see the picture later. Um, what is a nuclear reactor? Uh, a nuclear reactor is a sign of a reaction producing a steady flow of neutrons generated by the fission of heavy nuclei. Um, types of reactors. There are two important types of reactors. There are research reactors and power reactors. A power reactor is... Power reactors are usually found in nuclear power plants that generate heat mainly from electricity production and are operating more than 30 countries. Oh, okay. Um, these reactors use fission of heavy atomic nuclei, the most common of which is uranium. Um, uranium produces heat that is transferred to a liquid which acts as a coolant. Um, a coolant is when a substance is used to remove heat in a nuclear reactor. Um, the fission of uranium can set up a chain reaction that will keep on releasing energy as long as the uranium nuclei is present. If the chain reac reaction is allowed to get out of control, energy is released very quickly and the result is a nuclear bomb. Inside a nuclear reactor or Hold, hold on, homie, I'm not done. Bomb. Nuclear power stations are designed to keep chain reactions under control. Inside a nuclear reactor or an explosion, the neutron hits a uranium nucleus and the uranium nucleus splits into smaller nuclei and some more neutrons. These neutrons hit other uranium nuclei, causing a cycle between each other, which it keeps going and going and going and going, causing a big explosion. And that's how it's done inside a nuclear reactor. And, the, and this chain reaction happens because each uranium nucleus splits up splits off splits up and gives off more than one neutron. Um, these can cause more uranium nuclei to split and a nuclear reactor is designed designed to allow a controlled chain reaction to take place. Um Movable control rods are placed between the rods of the nuclear fuel. Mm -hmm. These control rods absorb some of the neutrons, so fewer neutrons are available to split uranium nuclei. The position of the control rods is adjusted so they are just enough neutrons to form a chain reaction to keep going, which I just talked about. Um.
This is what it looks like. Yeah, that's it. Uh, that's what we just explained.